Hey there, this is One Up Indy, and I just wanted to give you a little update on my upcoming game, Office Orc, and this is one of the mini games which are for basically you having a zombie apocalypse, so a virus is spreading here, of course, not like the current one, you don't turn into a zombie, this is just in this game here. And well, what's happening here is basically that you are. The zombies are going into a building and for example they can destroy it, so for example if this guy goes through he can completely destroy it, I guess I will revamp it, then as you can see you have a key indication, so bam, this building is gone, and for example once you click on those buildings you can convert them into those um, well, shooting things and they generate for you resources, so for example as you can see 3, 2, this is just the resources which you're having, and then well, this is how you can try to stall the infection. Of course, in the end, you cannot stall it. You will have just some uh, objectives, I don't know, um, survive a few minutes, gather so many and so many resources. But um, the idea behind this mini game is that you are facing something which is inevitable, but in the end, you try to make the best out of it, of, out of this situation. So, as you can see, those zombies are looking okay. But they look kind of a little bit alien to this um, existence here. First of all, let's say they are clipping through everything, which doesn't look too good. So, but for example, if you could say, okay, they can hover over, which is alright, but it doesn't look too good because, well, then you are losing the perspective, which isn't too good. But if you are having them below, it does look strange as well. So I thought about it and then I kind of circumvented this by a little neat trick which you can actually do by yourself. You just make an outline of a sprite. So let's say I'm having my zombies here and actually you will see it now alive in action. And then for example the next thing which I wanted to uh, put into the game was kind of crucial because for now you besides at the start you cannot hover over the buildings and then you're thinking okay what am I supposed to do here what's happening uh, is there uh, any interactivity and basically there is because this is quite important as you can see now I made them a little bit more transparent so they are not fully transparent and they have these little shadows below them and now they feel like they are part of this world because they have a shadow this really minor improvement does, um, does the trick so they appear to be part of the whole um, well, world, which was definitely important. So the next thing which I wanted to do and I kicked it out because it was too complicated, I thought having this HQ and then you're having some minions and then they run through a building and then you need to, I needed to do some waypoints and some, some complicated logistics and at some point I thought like, mm, too complicated, let's kick it out, let's make this game more accessible. So what you do, you just basically hover over a building and if you have enough um, of your resources, which those buildings are doing, so for example, every building is producing like some resources, as you can see, five or three or whatever, which is popping up. Well, then you get resources, then you can upgrade it. For example, if you upgrade those buildings, first of all, you can well, conquer them instantly. So you will have something like this. But for example, this already is conquered and then now it is not shooting and defending but for example once it is upgraded a total of four upgrades there are then well you will increase the amount of shots that can be fired and there will be like let's say a little building which i didn't show you which will upgrade the range so you have this kind of defense mechanism and which is better and as you can see now now they are having this outline and this doesn't it, it does appear to be definitely better and for example once they are outside they are not having a collision bam then they can uh, well <laughs> hit a building and once they hit it as you can see there will be a little uh, over here a little indication of, of the health of the building once it is down it will have this icon bam it is conquered by the enemy or just infected and then it will produce more of those um well zombies here and of course the bigger ones are the, the nasty ones because here you need to do so for example what your role in this game is just basically gathering gathering resources and trying to stall it until well you're getting overrun and of course then you need to have um, 
and then you maybe need to have uh, have some resources collected which are crucial for winning this mission so this is a thing and for example what else could you actually do and this is what i implemented as well into this one house because actually it has everything in here does it have yes it has and for example i thought okay how can we actually show the player from the very beginning with a very simple trick what is actually happening what those buildings are standing for and this is the thing which you see in lots of arcades they instantly show you what's happening for example here bam you have an arrow and this is a coin one coin three coins and two coins this is just saying base and here are your skulls that should actually luck trade but it's not well hover i mean but oh well and for example the other indicator for example here bam you have this nice um well once you hover over it this nice uh, thing and you cannot do this with uh, tinting which i tried it didn't look too good because i wanted to have a metal slug similar color and therefore i needed to do a sprite and then i have an uh, ease function which is going between zero and one so it's just basically uh, a thing which is drawing over that thing once it's hovering and if it's hovering well then it be can become uh, it can get drawn completely or just partially and then it looks golden which kind of looks cool i like the the color palette this is definitely definitely a great thing and then well this is just basically the game i tried to, to make it definitely more complicated but as you can see some things are well maybe better if you make them as simple as possible because you shouldn't be having too many uh, learning curves in games or at least in such mini games because they need to be fun entertaining and instantly accessible to you and therefore the first i guess level will be just hey gather resources and just click on those things upgrade them bam this is just basically it and the next ones well you get some zombies to defend and maybe some other little mini objectives and then you're pretty much set and um, if for example this game is actually interesting for you guys uh, well you can uh, um, write me some comments or for example once the game is out then i can actually make it into a bigger game because for now there will be just some levels for uh, which have some different uh, difficulties and then this is just basically it. it's just a snack for the meantime so my plans for now are besides well producing uh, office org as well a finished game i will release it on itch.io so i guess hopefully if i'm finished so basically the whole the the whole game is done the first mini game is almost done here as well so this is almost finished as well and then the other three ones are more simpler versions of mini games and once they are finished then i will release on itch.io um commercially of course because then this is a paid game and then well you can just write me what you actually found good or what completely sucked in this game i just take every comment at heart and then i will do a video how you can actually publish your game if you are a developer on itch.io and the next thing is how um you can uh, publish your game after that i will do that in steam steam is a little bit more complicated because there are a few things you need to consider there are some APIs and so on and therefore this is not just uploading and then you're done nee, 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 nee. here definitely more complicated and therefore you need to uh, well need, I need to get into a few things and then make this a comprehensible guide for you guys later on once for example you want to uh, publish on Steam as well of course and then I will show you some well how you can do that and a following video will be uh, then after a week after its release how the metrics are if I got rich, which I don't think so, but think, um, but so you got, so you will get an impression uh, how you, how this works, how much you can make, how little you can actually make with that, because the first games never sell too good. But I thought, um, well, I wanted to make an impression on you guys, and so you see, okay, so these are the possibilities, and maybe you're seeing some some cool stuff and get inspired and do your own game, whichever it is so hopefully that was of interest to you have a good one one up indie